What's up guys, Apple just wrapped up their Back to the Mac event, so I'm going to give you my coverage on it. Got all my notes here on my iPad so I can go ahead and read to you everything they announced today. So, excuse me for looking at my iPad, but I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first off, they ta started talking about iLife 11. So they've got some new stuff coming out with iLife 11, uh, some great new features. Uh, they kind of dragged these out a little bit, and I wasn't too interested in all of them. Uh, but first off, they talked about iPhoto. Now in iPhoto, we've got they've got new full screen mode, uh, Facebook and social enhancements, so you can like see what's happening and what people are saying about your pictures that you upload. Uh, you can email photos now. You can do like a bulk kind of email thing, and you email it right from the iPhoto app. So that's a really really nice feature. Uh, we've got new slideshows, so basically you just click and the slideshow is going to start. They've got some new uh, slideshows in there. Uh, we got big leaps in books and letter print cards. They kind of drug this feature out a lot, but they, like what basically what they're saying is you can order books and you can get like uh, Christmas car Christmas cards and those kind of things uh, with your iPhoto pictures. Next, they announced iMovie 11, and this looks really nice. I'm definitely going to be having having to get the uh, new iLife. Um, so in iMovie 11, we've got all new audio audio editing. So uh, basically, what they did was added some uh, added where you can edit the audio like actually in real time live. Uh, and at the bottom of clips, uh, and you can like they were showing where you can fade in um, audio as well as the video as it's fading in. Uh, so they've got some new audio enhancements. Uh, you've got one step effects. Uh, they also added a feature just like an iPhoto into iMovie where you can have People Finder where it, it, it can do face detection. And so that was pretty cool. You can track and organize everybody by faces. Uh, in all your video clips. You've got news and sports themes now. Uh, they got a lot, a lot of new themes where you can just go ahead and click and it's instantly there working for you. And also a new feature that they added which is not going to be that awesome because there's going to be some crappy stuff made with this. Uh, but movie trailers and it's actually, it looks really simple to make uh, like a professional looking movie trailer. So we're, I'm excited to kind of see what content comes out of that. Uh, next, they announced GarageBand 11. Uh, with GarageBand 11, they've got flex time, uh, groove matching, more guitar and amp effects, uh, and then they've got new guitar and uh, piano lessons, and that was pretty cool. And also a new feature called How Did I Play, which is like when you play it back, it's going to tell you how you did. Uh, it's going to help you out to fix all this stuff. There's all kinds of new features in GarageBand that I can't really get into because I don't know anything about music. Uh, but some cool stuff with the GarageBand. Now, so that's basically the features in iLife 11 iLife 11 is available today on your existing Mac and you can upgrade for only $49. Now a new thing is you guys are definitely going to be excited about. FaceTime is now coming to the Mac. This is really exciting. Uh, there's going to be a beta available today. You can download it. You don't have to be a developer to download this. So go ahead, try it out. I'll have more information later and I'll probably do a video on it and give you guys links to download everything. I'm definitely going to do some videos testing this out. It's going to allow you to FaceTime from Mac to Mac, Mac to iPhone, and Mac to iPod Touch. So that's a really, really nice feature. You can also view FaceTime in uh, full screen mode on your computer uh, as well as they were showing where uh, Phil Schiller or however you say his name was FaceTiming uh, Steve Jobs on his Mac and when, you, when he was rotating his phone you could actually see uh, uh, landscape and portrait mode on your Mac. And again, that is available today via Apple's website. So the next big thing they announced is Lion. I'm really excited about this. I'm ready to try out a new OS. Uh, so some of the things they announced, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, they didn't actually get to cover everything, but this is everything they mentioned uh, at the event. So first off, we've got, mo like basically what they're trying to do is bring some of the features of the iPad and iPhone and iPod Touch into the MacBook. And the way they're doing this is they're now adding multi-touch gestures, which they kind of already have now. Uh, the way you're going to be doing this is with the uh, new Magic Trackpad, the new Magic Mouse, as well as the trackbook or the trackpad that's built into MacBooks. Uh, they've got some new multi-touch features. They are adding an App Store, so we've got the Mac App Store. That is coming out in 90 days, so you don't actually have to wait uh, till next summer when iLife comes out. They also have the Mac App Store. This is going to be really, really awesome. really excited to... Uh, See this, this comes out in actually 90 days, so you don't have to actually wait for iLife to come out. Uh, they're actually accepting applications into the Mac App Store from de from developers in November, so that's, that's really soon. Go ahead and start developing those apps, developers. I'm excited to see what happens with that. So along with the new App Store, we have home screen apps. We've got full screen apps, uh, auto save, which is another feature on the iPad. Uh, iPhone, iPod Touch that they're bringing to the Mac. So, like, if you close something out, it's going to automatically save for you. Uh, and then apps resume when launched. Like, you know, like if you if you close an app on the iPhone and you're in the middle of something, you can open it right back up 
and it will be on the same spot you left it when you closed it. So that's going to be a new feature on the uh, Mac App Store apps. So again, there's a lot of new features they didn't announce. I'm excited to see what actually they didn't announce because these features right here are just exciting on their own. iLife is expected to be released in the summer, uh, so we do have a little while to wait. But again, the App Store for Mac is actually going to be released within 90 days, so we don't have to wait for all that. Uh, and again, developers are going to be able to go ahead and submit apps in November. So let's talk a little bit in depth about the Mac App Store. Uh, it's going to be the best place to discover apps for the Mac. Uh, it's going to be one-click downloads, uh, free and paid uh, apps, and it's going to be a 70-30 split with developers just like on the iPhone. Uh, we've got automatic installation, automatic updates. Uh, and then apps license for your personal use across all of your Macs. So this is really nice. It's basically just bringing the App Store to the Mac. Now another new feature they announced is Mission Control. What this is going to do is it's going to bring expose, full screen apps, uh, dashboard and spaces all into one. Uh, it's kind of complicated to explain but it's really nice. It can be a really, way, a really easy way to uh, see everything that's running on your Mac and pick which one you want to use at that time. Like It's just a really great feature. I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, so stay tuned when iLife is released. Trust me, I'm going to be doing videos on all this stuff. Now, after me sweating like crazy from me being so excited and this bright light on me, let's get on to the one more thing. So Apple announced today a new MacBook Air and this thing is freaking amazing. So the new MacBook Air is like a netbook on steroids. Previously in the announcements they were talking about how they're trying to bring some of the iPad features to the Mac. Now they're really bringing some of the iPad features to the Mac. With the new MacBook Air, they've got a 13.3 inch model. Uh, the freaking thing is so small. It's only 0.68 inches thick, uh, and at its thinnest point, it is 0.11 inches thick. That is like almost too small, and it only weighs 2.9 pounds. Uh, it's got a high res display, and this is a big thing they announced. It has no optical hard drive or no hard drive. It's all flash memory. So it's an LED backlit display. It's got 1440 by 900 pixels. That's more than their other Macs. This is a really, really nice display. Uh, it's got Core 2 Duo processor, NVIDIA GeForce 320M, full-size keyboard, um, full-size multi-touch track, FaceTime camera, or eyesight, but they're starting, I guess they're calling it FaceTime camera now, up to two times faster than every other previous model of the Mac. Um, it's more reliable, it's 90% smaller and lighter, and it actually has 7 hours of battery life on the 13.3 inch model. So basically they're wiping out the hard drive and everything and they're making this like instantly, just like the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch is. Like when you want something, you click it and it's right there. It's already pretty fast on the MacBooks now, but I think this is definitely going to be a great feature. And this is like going to blow all the other netbooks out of the water. So that's the 13.3 inch model. There is also an 11.6 inch model. The 11.6 inch model has all the stuff that the 13.3 inch model does except it's just a little bit smaller. We got the full keyboard, full trackpad, full, uh, full screen, 11.6 inches backlit display. The pixels are 1,366 by 768 pixels. Uh, it actually weighs 2.3 pounds and the standby battery on these things are about 30 days. So if you leave this thing on standby it's gonna, it's gonna last about 30 days. That's insane. Uh, the new model the 11.6 inch model also has 5 hour battery life compared to the 13.3 inch which is 7 hours. So I'm really excited to get one of these in my hands, try this out. Uh, so the 11.6 inch model has got 1.4 gigahertz, you can get a 64 gigabyte model for $9.99, that's a really great price point. Uh, 128 gigabyte uh, flash drive for $11.99. The 13.3 inch model has 1.8 gigahertz, uh, you can get a 120 gigabyte flash drive for $12.99 and a 256 gigabyte uh, flash drive for $15.99. So that's a great price point and these new MacBook Airs are available today. I actually just called my local app store like immediately after the event and they said call back in about an hour we should have these in by tonight. I knew Apple was going to announce some new Macs today but I really didn't want to have to go buy a new computer but I guess I'm going to have to. I think Apple's changing up everything. They did away with the flash drive, now they're doing away with CDs, and now they're doing away with freaking hard drives. It's going to be solid state memory. Awesome! <sighs> so I am sweating like crazy. So I'm sweating like crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I was talking fast. I'm really excited, out of breath, burning up, hot. Oh my god, that sounded kind of weird. So make sure you keep checking back on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing in-depth videos on all these new things they announced. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right up there above the uh, video so you can get subscribed to that. 
and uh, see when I post new videos. And leave me some comments below the video. I'm interested to see what you guys think about these new features and products they announced today. Are you going to be getting the new MacBooks? Do you think it's a good idea that they're doing away with the hard drives and making it more of a, a snappy process? Of course it is. If you're getting a netbook, this is this is like a netbook, but it's like uh, a high-priced, super-powered netbook. It's, it's a netbook on steroids. Hopefully my local Apple store will pull through and get some of these new MacBook Airs. I think I'm going to get the 11.6-inch model, and I'll have an unboxing up for you guys in the next few days. All right, that's enough of my ramblings. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!